but they still expected you to do it. Stuff like that. It, it wasn't... It wasn't high amounts of stress. At times it was. Like, I sometimes I just wanted to just leave and never come back. These corners are sharp, which means if you jump into them at the right angle, you'll slice yourself up. Yeah, try not to do that. Um, these? Like, what, what corners are we talking about here? These, I mean, these are corners. I'm guessing that's, like, his explanation for a glitch. Like, I'm trying to... I imagine... I mean, that's a corner. Unless... Unless he... Wow, nice slowdown. But, yeah, that, that was my job at Target. I don't really think I released official figures of what it was, because it is kind of embarrassing to be, you know, almost 23, still making less than $10 an hour. Um, and within... I'd worked there for three and a half years, and I still wasn't making over $10 an hour. It, I wasn't a bad worker. I had, like, a spotless record. My record was great. I showed up on time. I didn't have a problem with any other team members or managers until we got some new managers who started to shift in. Then I wasn't so in agreement with them. What am I missing? Oh, okay, never mind. That's not a wall. I think I'm going to buy a new controller soon. But, uh... Oh, shit. Water. Scrolling water. Can I go down this? Okay, that's a bad idea. Never mind. We're not going down that. Um, you know, the first first little bit of working there was great. I loved it. But then it really just depends on, uh, you know, management, how like how well your store is doing. Like, if they, if they have to cut a ton of hours, you're just fucked. Like, there's, they're going to expect you to try and do way more work than you pretty much can possibly handle. It's not good. I'm sure some people know what I'm talking about who work in retail that is similar. However, uh, your store may have been a good one. My store, I loved my store for the first year and a half. And uh, after that, not so good. So, it's kind of funny when people, and this is a very rare thing that pops up, when someone will try and criticize me for not having a job, which technically I'm self-employed right now. I know it doesn't seem like I am, but technically I am self-employed because I make money from, uh, from being, I, I imagine it's an independent contractor because I supply quote unquote work, but I'm not told how to do it and what needs to be done. You know, I have freedom over what I do. Machinima generally cannot tell me I have to do this and that. Um, I'm sure someone's gonna be like, well, they told you not to post endings. They were advising me to not do so because the publishers of the games might give me a copyright strike. I know I've already explained this like a bunch of times. And some people are gonna get it and some people aren't. So if you haven't got it by now, I'm sorry. I've tried to explain it. But they generally don't have a lot of control over what I do. And that's not saying, like, Machinima doesn't have control of what they're doing. That's just saying they are nice enough to give the directors... Oh, shit. Pretty much, uh, you know, there's not a lot of rules and restrictions involved. It's, it's nice. Um, you have to follow the small amount of rules. Don't be an idiot. And that's about... Okay, seriously, Chuck? Come on. Die. Thank you. Um, and there's that. But, you know, it's technically self-employed. Nobody, nobody but Machinima, YouTube, and any other directors who know the contract terms and can do the math based on the views I get, know how much I make. You, I mean, pe these people who, who are going out and, I guess, kind of bashing me. It's, I mean, I don't even know if it's bashing. Okay, seriously, this is getting, oh wow. Should've just reloaded. Ah, this stupid guy in his rocks. Alright. Oh, come on, controller? I can, I can get out of this, I can get out of this. I can get, I can try and get out of this. There we go. Fuck this controller, I'm throwing this piece of shit out soon. Um, no one, no one knows how much I make. And for someone to be like, you're setting yourself back from quitting Target, a 10k a year job? I I don't see it. I, I don't see how someone could be like, you're throwing your life away for quitting a 10k a year job. It just uh, kind of kind of fathoms me. I, I don't understand. I mean, if I if I had, let's say I had a great career going. This is, I'm going to die a bunch of times here. Let's say I had a great career going. It was already established in my field and et cetera, et cetera. Then no, I most likely would not have quit my job. Um, because I, oh, thank god I didn't need to catch up to that thing. I most not likely would have not have qu quit my career job, because that would have been a bad move. For something like Target, however, as we've been warped back to here. So is this like, oh, oh wait, no, 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 we got something different here. This is a silver piece switch, not a, 
isn't, uh... Okay, we need a key. There's the key. Alright. You know, if I had, if I... If I had a career job, then no, I probably wouldn't have quit. I would have, I would have kept doing what I was doing. You know, I'm, I'm established in some sort of career that's working out for me. Um, I have promise and potential. Target, not so much. Wasn't so much promise and potential with that. Um, okay, seriously, Thwimp, me and you are gonna have a problem. Me and you are gonna have a big problem. And spikes everywhere. Yay. It just, it wasn't a good jumping point jumping stone i guess i'll say a stepping stone it wasn't a, it wasn't a good stepping stone it's not like i quit some awesome 80k a year job that i had going and worked for 10 years to get to that was i mean I, i'd been there for three and a half years and was still making less than 10k a year it's like i don't know i'm still trying to go through school and get my degrees up and i'm doing i'm doing what i think is the right thing now most of the uh Oh, come on, I was hugging the wall. I hate how the little spikes kind of overextend. This is getting annoying. This is getting real annoying. Um, I don't even know what I was just talking about. I can't even go off of the point I was just trying to make. No. So I'll just commentate on Mario a little bit. We're swimming, yay! For everyone who didn't give a shit about my life, we're swimming. But I wasn't really setting myself back, so to speak. Um, and I, ha I actually had a lot more support than other people who had done stuff like that. And I'm not talking about just one or two. Oh my god, no. I don't care if that's a mushroom. Forget it. I don't even care. Alright, well, I'm going to try to cut some of that out. Because I'm pretty sure I had just gone the wrong way. And now I think I'm going the right way. I think I actually managed to accidentally loop into, uh, okay, controller, you are not helping me. Is this a mushroom? Please get me. Invincibility frames. So I need to get back to the story. I'm sure a chunk of it's gonna get cut out, but, uh, sometimes I just wanna punch my own self in the fucking face. I'm telling you that much. Sometimes I just wanna look in a mirror and watch me punch myself in the face. But, uh, I was talking to, no, I'm just taking the hit here. I don't give a shit. I was mostly talking about other people who had, you know, quit their jobs, pretty much in my position, and that I had actually, luckily enough, had gotten uh, more support for quitting than a lot of other people did. Probably considering because people knew how much of a terrible time I was supposedly having. Okay, this controller is like DEFCON 5 at this point. Mostly because I had talked a lot about it in Mario Hacks, so a lot of people had pretty much assumed that I was being truthful and honest and how much my job was not making me a happy clam. Seriously, we're just gonna have Chuck's f <sighs> I am getting angry. Getting very angry at Chuck, because he's a dick. How many more Chucks we got? How many more f fucking Chucks are we gonna throw in here, huh? Come on. Stop. Get out of here. Get. Oh, oh. Come on. Go. Go, Mark. Look at it. There's another one. Get, oh, no. I gotta. I gotta be fast. I gotta. I gotta take the invincibility frames and. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? No. <laughs> damn it. Well, anyway, thank you for the support of me quitting my job because it really did suck. And uh, I've seen other people get kind of slammed for doing so. But now you see some of these people who were like. What are you doing in life? What are your life goals? It's honestly not really like much of your business unless I uh oh, why do I have two of these now? I mean it's it's honestly not really someone's uh business, so to speak, unless I'm actually Wow, oh okay. Unless I'm actually actively talking about it. I don't even know where I need to go. We've gone up there. Um there's gotta be somewhere where I need to get through with another P-Switch and other stuff. I don't know. But whatever. I mean, people don't know what I'm making off of this. It, I mean, people don't know if I'm making 100 bucks a month. People don't know if I'm making 1,000 bucks a month. People don't know if I'm making 10 grand a month off of this. Nobody knows except for Machinima and YouTube and the people who need to know. Because I can't tell you because I signed a contract which says if I disclose the business of said contract... I lose my contract, and bad things happen, and then I'm back to square one. So, 
Is it really worth you knowing for me to get fucked over? In your stance, maybe. And